Jesus is your breakthrough. There is a blessing of fruitfulness upon us as human beings. It's his plan for all of mankind to go forth, to be fruitful and to multiply. This is little Riley John, and I thought I'd start at the end of the story because it's always good to see a happy ending. This is little Riley John Walter. Hello. Um, and we named him Riley John because Riley means courageous and John means God is gracious. And to us, that's, that's been his story and that's been our story. And I hope I don't cry through the whole story. Um, but, you know, that God has truly been gracious. He's been faithful to his word. And, and this little man has just been such a joy. Um, about two years ago, thereabouts, so maybe I have been coming longer than that. I can't remember. Long time. Um, I'm just so blessed to have grown up in a family where we've been taught faith and taught that, you know, if God said it in his word, he means it. He's not mucking around. He he's, means his promises. And, and we can hold him to that because he wants to be held to that. He said, I am the Lord, your healer, and he wants to be the healer. I'm the Lord, your provider, and he wants to be that. So I've been really blessed to have grown up knowing that. Um, but I have to be honest, when, when my husband Tim and I decided to um, start a family, we just kind of presumed everything would go well. I just kind of assume, oh yeah, you know, straightforward, right? You know, you know how things work. You just want to start a family and just be straightforward. I didn't really think anything of it. Um, but shortly after we started um, trying for kids, um, my cycle was kind of all over the place. And I thought, this is really weird. It's like, a bit unusual, so I thought, oh, I'll book in to see the GP. It turns out she says, oh, actually, you are pregnant. I'm like, oh, that's fantastic. It's really exciting. And um, it turned out to be an ectopic pregnancy. I don't even know what that was. I'm like, okay, so can you tell me what, what that means? Well, I'd never even heard anyone mention the word. And she said, well, and they had a scan or whatever. And she said, well, basically, your body's saying you're pregnant, but we can't find the baby. <laughs> so so it's pro- we assume it's somewhere in the tubes or something or other, but um, long story short, that the pregnancy is not viable. And I was absolutely gutted. I'm like, but, you know, it's my baby, and I'm really, like, really protected of this, protective of this tiny little baby I haven't even seen yet. Um, and so we, following the treatment, had to wait a number of months before we tried again. And after that, we then had three miscarriages, which was just awful. And I'm like, I know this is not God. And, and, and started coming along to the meetings and would hear, you know, each month, you know, the, God is true to his word. He's faithful. And, and <laughs> yeah, you want to say something? Um, <laughs> he's, he said he's the healer. He said he's the provider and that's who he is. And um, just hearing the word over and over and over again, even though your head knows it, but your head's still got to get it. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, it just has been such a, such a blessing. And um, when uh, the last miscarriage was at eight weeks, and so given my history, the doctors... My turn. Um, the doctors had said, you know, make sure you have an early scan and just check how things are going. So we did that and overwhelmed to see this little, what looked like a little cashew, <laughs> I keep calling it cashew, um, with a little heartbeat and going, oh my goodness, it's a little baby. I just was overwhelmed with joy. And so then we told, my parents told um, Tim's parents and the next day I lost the baby and I was just absolutely gutted. Um, because I'm like, it's, it's a person, it's, it's, it's my little baby. And, and then, you know, praise God, the, like two months later, I fell pregnant with Riley. When we went for the same early scan, um, yeah, the devil's such a liar. The, the thoughts came back. You see, the, go to the same clinic, did the same routine, and see the same pictures, get the little print out, and, and that thought came back, it's the same. You're going to lose this one. It's just like last time. And... Oh, well, I wanted to be happy that I was pregnant again. Just that thought kept niggling. It's the same. It's the same thing. You've done this before. You know how this story ends, and it's not good. And through you know great encouragement, I'm just so thankful, Nerida and Sean, for for this ministry and and for people around us and others in this group praying and um, encouraging us that the devil is a liar and God is not, and that's always the truth. That you know God is who He says He is. 
and the devil talks a whole lot of, he talks a big game, but he's not, he's not big. And um, praise God, I had the best pregnancy. Pregnancy doesn't have to be horrendous where you're throwing up every day and you're cranky and no one wants to be around you. It was just brilliant. I think I felt, um, felt sick one day or something and I was just like, oh, that's just so God. Because from all I've heard, I know that's not necessarily the norm, but it just proved to me that it was almost like God saying, you know, I can do it. I can do what I said I would. And it was just the most brilliant, brilliant pregnancy. And then this little bub came along Christmas Eve. And um, he was due on the 20th of December. He came, which we thought was cool, 2012 in 2012. Um, but he came along on the 24th of the 12th, the 12th. And just before he arrived, I think my mum had heard a a message where they're talking about numbers and different things like that, and 12 being the number of perfection and completion. She said, I just think that's so neat. 24 is double 12, and so 24, 12, 12. It's just like all perfect. It's all fulfillment. And, and to us, this is, he's just been a testament to God's grace. And I know it's not anything that we've done of our own strength, but it's just handing what we need to over to God and just staying there. It's kind of like you bought the bus ticket but you don't want to walk away before the bus arrives. And sometimes it feels like the bus is late. You know, it can feel like you, know, you can't see it down the road. It can feel like it's not coming. But it is coming and it does come and God's already provided. And I'm just so grateful to, um, to God and to all those who've stood with us because we've got a great happy ending of the story. And this is number one and I'm sure there'll be more to come. Not just yet, but <laughs> in time. In time, but um, to me, it's just a true testament to God's grace that He's faithful, He's healed me. And while I would never wish what we've been through on anyone, um, and I, I never want to do it again, I just know God has brought us through that. He didn't bring it about, but He did bring us through. He did, His grace did give us the strength to do what we needed to do to stand there and prove that His, his promises are real. And um, this vocal little band is testament to God's grace. So stay there. Keep, keep going. Thank you. Many couples struggle with some form of infertility. Some are even told they will never have children of their own. Then there are others who struggle to carry a baby to term. This leaves many without hope. When Nerida Walker's husband, Sean, was diagnosed as sterile, they discovered the promises in God's word for children and through their journey overcame the diagnosis, threatened miscarriage and other complications. They are now the joyful parents of four beautiful children. Since then, Nerida has taught God's plan for pregnancy through her books, websites and meetings, and many couples throughout the world have also received their breakthrough. So whether you are facing challenges or would just like to learn more about what God's Word says in these areas, come and discover God's plan for your pregnancy. For more information, visit www.godsplanforpregnancy.com or www.newlifeministries.com.au.